to a call uh, 60 at uh, I'm trying to find the call we just got uh, one of our guys came up and said uh, we're it's over here they're saying there's a party one male party down both legs detached oh that's not a good start uh, I'll, I'll read it once we get over here but it's uh, closer to Greenwood I don't know where Greenwood is let me pull that up and they're putting it uh, I think westbound yeah 60 westbound at Greenwood so we'll, we'll end up passing it and then coming back on it uh, let's do this let's do Pomona oh look at the other side totally close you see that there's like one car oh something on fire too yeah. is the car on fire oh shit I think the car is on fire. We're gonna film it from the other side. Hey, uh, I think this, uh, I think that car is on fire uh, on this TC, guys, at uh, Greenwood. 455 is gonna be going uh, code six here momentarily. Holy shit! You see that? Okay, copy. I'm going to be going code six here in a second. I'm going to shoot the fire from the uh, eastbound side, and then I'll come back around unless there's a way to get to uh, the on-ramp or what have you. But uh, either way, 455 is going to be going code six. Oh, shit. Guy's ejected with both both legs detached, and the car is on fire. Holy fuck. Paramount in a quarter mile. I think we're going to shoot it from this side, Tater. Unless there's a way to get up onto that. Uh... I'm going to climb up the hill right here. Oh, perfect spot. Move, move, move. Sorry. Huh? All right, I'm going up that hill right there. You coming? Fire's here. through the flames. see I don't see another uh, I mean there could be a body between us and the uh, center divider but as of right now it's just a vehicle fire there is a victim on the guardrail across um, I'm gonna grab my sticks you want to stay up here yeah. all right I'll be right back It's like mountain adventure tonight. What the heck's going on? Ugh. So there's a guy across the freeway. Um, he looks okay. I'm not sure what uh, where the detached leg guy is.
right, so we do have, it looks like a body in lanes near the center divider in the well, possibly the number one lane. <clears throat> I'm going to get our victim though. So it looks like our, our driver was driving the car, hit a body, and then that's what caused the fire. It's kind of funky. Hey, uh, 331, um, I've got a, uh, a driver here. It looks like he struck a body on the freeway. See if you can confirm that for me. So there is a body on the freeway. Uh, they're saying on the CAD that he's not, well, he's dead, so he's not doing too well, obviously. But uh, I'm not quite sure. There's a car with nobody in it over there. You can see the vehicle's still on fire, but we're gonna send this in and then uh, head over to the other side so we can get a better, uh, better understanding of what's, uh, what's actually transpired here tonight. Because as of right now, we just have the CAD comments, so. Sergeant Herarte, last name H-E-R-R-A-R-T-E. -R Where are we standing approximately? We're standing on the 60 westbound, east of Wilcox. Approximately what time do you guys come out here? I have 12.02 on the CAD. 12.02 hours, our communication center received a call of a traffic collision with an ambulance responding. Upon arrival, I see we got a car on fire, we've got a person down in lanes. Run me through what you guys found when you got on scene. Right. Uh, the cause of the collision is still under investigation. We got two vehicles, two parties, one of those persons, for an unknown reason, was standing outside of the vehicle and was struck by the other car. Was this somebody changing a flat tire? Were they involved in a, another collision? What are we talking here? Uh, none at this time. So the person pronounced, uh, give me the information on the person deceased in lanes. We don't have any information. All we know is Hispanic male, approximate age of 30. And he was driving a car, stopped and got out? Yes. Just tell me that really quick. Well, uh, well for an unknown reason, of the. Uh, Preliminary information indicates that the vehicle was disabled within the number two lane, party standing outside of it, and at that point, a Nissan traveling in that same lane collided into that party and vehicle. Vehicle on fire, not the same vehicle as the one the guy was standing out of, our victim's vehicle? Different vehicle. Different vehicle. Give me a little bit about the uh, fire vehicle information. How's that driver? Give me that. I'm sorry? The information on the driver in that vehicle, all that information. Same Hispanic male, approximate 38, 30 years of age uninjured, obviously shaken. And his car burst into flames. I mean, yes. LA County Fire, who came out and put it out? It's Montebello? Yeah, Montebello Fire Department. And uh, right now we've got uh, what lanes closed and what lane open? We got the number one, two, and three, four lanes closed with the number five lane open. How long are you guys gonna be out here? Hopefully not much longer, but unknown duration at this time. Name and spelling, one more time. Uh, Sergeant Herarte, H-E-R-R-A-R-T-E. Fantastic. <laughs> it's really good. Always good working with you. Good seeing you. All right. We're heading to a uh, reported structure fire. Uh, pretty close. Uh, I do see the airship orbiting where we're going. That's not a good sign. <laughs> that is not a good sign. That means there's something. Oh, we got construct Caltrans in lanes moving over. Uh, if he's circling there, that's uh, usually a sign that there's something going on. So, yeah. Very foggy, actually, kind of weird. Oh, look, there's us. It's a Taurus. Ground Park Unit, ambulance, battery. You're good. You're good. <laughs> got, you got PTSD just right, right there. There you go. Perfect. Sorry. All right. Uh, four. What are we gonna call this at? Four o. Four o one. Oh, 50 miles to empty. 
Air oh, oh, you have a fire right. watch. No shit. I told you he saw something. I t what did I call it or what? Come on. I see the airship. I'm like, he's orbiting right over where we're going. Ah, if we can get down here without flipping the damn Taurus over. 455 copies uh, LAPD. Uh, air ship overhead reporting a uh, structure fire at the location we're headed to. Uh, 455 is going to be code 6 in one minute. <sighs> Alright people, come on. Christ. They're not even, they don't even have a size up yet. They're just saying fire attack. So we got, we got a good working fire. And I don't, uh, I got cloudy skies, so I'm not really uh, getting good obs on it. But uh, yeah, LAPD says we got to get going fire and city fires on city. 45 is going to be going for six. Duplex. Woo! Aww. Womp, womp, womp. Vacant. We don't find out part of the 306. That's a shame. Well, I mean, it's... <laughs> okay, hang on. It's a... <laughs> Let me rework that. Hang on. It's a good thing because uh, nobody's hurt, obviously. And 455 is going code six. Oh, look at all the smoke. Oh, that's ripping. Jeez, how do we get down here? Where is it? Oh, it's, it's cooking, cooking, cooking. Cookin'. All right. And we'll, uh, it's a long block. Did you see that? No, I didn't see it. You can't even see it on the street. All right. Oh, that's good. We're gonna have to run down there. Oh, it's going. That's a going. Looks like a craftsman style. Right now we've got heavy, heavy pressurized smoke. Our supply line is just getting loaded, so watch it. Watch it, watch it. So supply line's loaded, now we're good. Looks like a lot of fire to the rear and you can tell it's vacant. You can tell it's vacant because we got the boarded up uh, windows and all the locks they're trying to cut through right now. Really smoky too. Watch out for the uh, ladder. Really pressurized, super heavy. Hey, load this thing, dude! We want to get on the upwind side. I'm thinking the side here is going to be our best bet. Oh yeah. Check it out on the rear. It's it's kind of, we're in a tough spot right here because if we go downwind, we're going to have a better visual on fire. We might, this backyard might be a good option. Well, no, I think right here we're good.
if they don't get to it quick and this is seated in the attic, we're gonna see, oh, look, there it goes, there it goes. We're gonna see even bigger flames than that here in a second. Great shot right there. Great shot. Sorry, I didn't want to didn't want to miss that. Let's see if there's some stairs back here or something. No. Back, so you can see the light right here reflecting in the back. Look at the, the smoke, the light coming through the smoke right there. It's pretty cool. Um, not a whole lot of options right here. I think we're gonna end up staying on the uh, on the alpha side, which is the front side. And the fire's probably gonna work back. Again, we've got heavy pressurized smoke. Oh, they're opening it up here. We'll go back to that same spot. I'd like to get up higher. I wish we're on the uh, second floor here. That'd be a good spot, but. I think it's a pretty deep, uh, pretty deep seated attic fire. Check it, check this out. It's just blasting out the side there. Watch your eyes. about the flashover before? Yeah. That's it, right there. Watch out, I got water coming up. pretty good let's get a wider uh, shot but that's just the attic going right now oh wow right here perfect 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 great visual right there that's the shot that's the shot Looks like the uh, it looks like the actual roof has collapsed right here. It's kind of open in the middle. having a hell of a time getting in there, huh? With the plywood. Oh, look out. See the water? All right, we had some shots of the guys working on the roof and then we're good. Morning, Chief. Morning. All right. Sweet. We'll hang out for a bit until they get knocked down on the bulk of the flames, but we're uh, pretty much got everything we need to tell the story. Nineteen thirties, nineteen forties. They they have uh, the Who Frame Roger Rabbit vibes. There's the moon again behind the tower. I don't know if you can see it with the wide uh, behind. The, of course, behind the mountain. I pointed at it twice. I'll get a shot of it at some point tonight. But I do love the tunnels. It's it's total Who Frame Roger Rabbit vibes up here in the avenues. Hundred percent. What is what does uh, Roger Rabbit say during that? 
He's like, a freeway? What a terrible idea. <laughs> He's literally like, nobody would go for that. And now that's all we use, which is pretty funny. Oh, and uh, Michael is with a overturned vehicle at, uh, I think, the 60 and the 605. Ooh, IHOP. I was going to just say IHOP. So, what's better? Tell me in the comments, guys, because this is a big debate all the time. IHOP or Denny's? That's the real question. What do you say? I say IHOP. I say IHOP, but what is, what is the... Uh, <laughs> Will that cause a massive debate? I doubt it. I, I don't it's think like, it can... Did you like Pizza Hut or did you like Domino's? Pizza Hut or Domino's? Uh, I, would, I would say Domino's. I would say Domino's. <laughs> All right, well, I hop. At least we agree on I hop. That's fine. That should be a unanimous decision across the top. So we'll see what, we'll see what people think when this airs, which, uh, by the way, if you're a member, speaking of when it airs, if you're a member, you can watch, or you're watching, I should say, this video a week before, probably more than a week before, uh, we release to the public. Um, which, by the way, is every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, yeah, so yeah, thank you for joining. If you joined as a member, if you uh, are subscribed, we appreciate your subscription. And if you're not, uh, consider it if you want. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But if you don't, you're gonna miss out on this beautiful view of downtown as we come southbound on the 110 here. Not to mention all of the incidents we go to and all the uh, behind the scenes shenanigans that go on. Love this, look at that. How cool is that? And if you subscribe, you'll never miss a, uh, you'll never miss a premiere. You'll never miss a new video. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Again, thank you guys for joining us, as always. And if you're in the premiere on Friday at 7, uh, I'm in the chat, so say hi. It's funny, I go, say hi, and everyone goes, hi, and then I go, hey. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. So, all right, we're uh, clear off the fire, and um, with that business out of the way, let's fast forward through time and movie magic to the next incident, which I don't know what it is yet, but uh, you will in two seconds. Traffic Angeles Point Road and Park Road, Angeles Point Road and Park Road. Vehicle off a cliff. Oh. Vehicle off a cliff in Northeast. We're gonna head for that. I don't know where in Northeast, but we're gonna start heading that direction. One rescue one engine forty four. There it is. Three. Use source three. Air ops. EMS one nine one. Damn, air ops are gonna helicopter. Task force three. Use our eighty eight. The cliff rescue at eight nine eight. Eight nine eight Park Row Drive. Let's see where that is. Got it. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> uh, we're on the wrong side of it. It's literally right here. Holy shit, we're right next to it. Okay, I need to figure out how to get up there though. All right, 455 is uh, gonna be in the area of Park Row. It's gonna be right here. Um, Near like the 110 and the 5 interchange, I'm flipping around to Figueroa to try and uh, figure out where to uh, get at it. 455 will be uh, code 6 momentarily. We're going to be off here at Academy Road. This uh, off-ramp was built, I think, uh, probably in the 1930s, 1940s, as you can tell. Holy cow, and these roads are really tight. So we want to get up here, but we don't want to get, um, we don't want to get stuck, obviously. So if we... If we're able to make it up here and get a and get a good spot, that's great. But we want to go past the incident, so we're not uh, we're not trapped up here. If we do get trapped uh, by apparatus, then we'll have to call uh, Keith and have him um, and have him come down to uh, to Metro for coverage because this is like up up the hill over here. Actually, it might be uh, it might be a little wider than I thought. Huh. We shall find out. We shall see. We shall see. But someone flew off a cliff, quote unquote. We'll see if it's an actual cliff. I don't know if it will be. Oh, the gate is open. Very nice. Very good. Hopefully the gate is open over here. Otherwise, we're going to have to go around the opposite side. 
one from Metro. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming all the gates are open because someone got up here to flip their car yeah, off or something. Time one, we have a call take on the line with an RP. Uh, they're on scene. Uh, the call take will be monitoring tech 13. Uh, all right, we're like right here, and it's not too tight. This is nice. Of course, we have like no service, but that's okay. Oh, it's not a real cliff. <laughs> it's like a fake cliff. Well. Oh, do they go straight? What? Look at the uh, the weed whacker. It's pretty funny. It's a little bit more. I think somebody lost it right here. Would be my guess. I don't see. Four of the fives, code six in the area. Uh, I don't see anybody. We'll go down. Uh, no, that we're at Angel's Point. No, they said Park Row, right? Mm -hmm. Push it up. As we go off the cliff. Don't want to become the story. <laughs> yeah, not a good thing. All right. Um, it's probably over here somewhere, is my assumption. I don't see. Danger Rescue 29, immediate dispatch on the pit. How is it? We're out with uh, 50. I don't see anybody. Eight, we're out with 50. I don't see any skid marks. And Park Row goes down that way. But to get to that side, we'd have to go around the other side, which... Legion Park Drive. Which we might have to do. Hmm. I wonder if it's on the other side. I think it's gonna be the other side. I don't see anything here. Even though this is the this is the numbers that they gave. I think it's I think it's gonna be the other side of this, which I don't know if we can get to necessarily because they close all the gates. So if we listen, if we have a fire truck coming up this way on the other direction, then cool. But um, I don't think that is the correct side. We're to attach in a second rest here and today we're getting reports of two people still trapped inside the vehicle. Oh, okay, then yeah, it's gonna be opposite side. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. How are we gonna get over there? Yes, I heard that. Yeah, I copy that. Um, I'm on the, I went to the numbers that they uh, put out for the call, and apparently that's not the uh, correct side. I'm going to be heading to the other side. Edge Rescue 29, now afraid to be a cardiac arrest. You better be a mess of luck. They have reports on two white balls trapped in the car. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, 499, I copy that. Um, I think they're on the opposite side here. I went up to the gate on the numbers that they gave and there's like nothing up there. So I'm heading around to the opposite side now. Oh, wait, here they come. I think everybody's lost getting up here. So. There's a bunch of gates everywhere. We already went up that direction. Do you think maybe we were there and, oh God. Maybe. <laughs> Do you think we were in the right spot and they were like over that cliff right there? Maybe. And we just didn't see them? Yeah, I didn't want... uh, the, all the, the plants though weren't dented or- I, Yeah, I didn't see yeah, any was... plants move, nothing, so. Everything looked pretty untouched. Even the battalions, like EMS-1 is like, where do we go? But now we have reports of two people in the vehicle, so we're... This is obviously a legitimate call. We just don't know exactly where this car is. There's definitely a drop there. I just, yeah, I didn't see any skid marks. I didn't see any uh, fresh paint removed off of the curb, but you never know. Hey, we're here again. Let's, let's go up and I'll jump out with my flashlight and look around. But yeah, we're we're behind uh, EMS one. They're they're looking at their uh, they're looking at their map. 
I just want to hear that. Donald Bay, 942, idiot, please. The, the numbers aren't correct, though. It's uh, Angeles Point. <clears throat> AF 499, let me know if Angeles Point uh, and Park Row Drive is correct. I'm going to be code six out with the Rangers. Yep. That's it. That's where we are. Cool. Jesus. If I get the damn camera out, that might help, right? Alrighty. How's it going? And you can see this is where you don't want to park, right there. Oh, you good for a hike? You got your hiking shoes? No? Might go down there once they get them out. Good to see you. What's up? Two in the car? I have no idea. I just got here. That's what I heard was one or two. That's pretty much the spot. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they have somebody. At least one trap. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if this is helpful, but there's a, there's a nice little plateau right here. You guys want a better shot? You know? Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe. What do you, what do you think? Yeah, the back up is the hard part. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate it. I think uh, I think we'll. I think I'm gonna stay up here. <laughs> if Dave, you want to go, you're you're more than welcome. <laughs> Actually, you know, from right. No, no, you're good. You're good. Actually, right here is cool. Cause it looks like you came off right here, huh? Yeah. How's this one? <laughs> hey Steve, see the beer? <laughs> Freshly ejected, I'm sure. Really? Same spot? Oh yeah, this is this spot. They never learn. No one for existing tracks. No shit. <laughs> My first time at this spot. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, it's awful. No, no, you're good, Steve. they are in it they got them out the uh, unless they got them out the driver's side which they might have oh yeah yeah they got them out there's a guy standing there yeah a guy a guy and a girl you can't see him from the other side though yeah there's a 
guy and a girl uh, that were both in the car, but looks like they're looks like they're okay. They pop the uh, they pop the door open and they're just kind of they're just kind of hanging out. So I mean, really lucky, very very lucky. Hey Tay, just hang out right there for a second. So as of right this moment, we had a vehicle come off of uh, one of the roads up here. They said it was a cliff rescue. Um, that's the type of response that city initially sent. Um, obviously we get up here, this is not like a straight down cliff. They're probably down about, from the roadway, I'd say about 60 feet. And then um, uh, as far as altitude is concerned, they're probably down about 20, uh, 25, 30 feet down. So not a huge distance, but you could see there were a bunch of tracks over there on the opposite side where a bunch of cars have gone off of this area. Um, but as of right now, we've got everything we need to tell the story, so we're gonna skedaddle. Yeah, 
I'll give it to you. I'd rather just give you a cell phone number. Uh, I'll give you what you need. I just don't want to. Yeah, yeah. If you don't mind. Station. Thank Station, you. Appreciate thank it. You. Yeah, if you don't mind, uh, what I'll do yeah, is I'll, uh, I'll grab it. run it through, and if we can do it as like a, if we can do it just off us. We shoot, which yeah, that's I'm fine. mostly positive we can because we okay. saw her. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get the yeah, because if thank you. you guys have PID, then then we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys primary? Yeah. What happened with the car? What's up? Literally, you guys are doing great. The electric has just died. Seriously. Yeah, we had a dip <laughs> in the road, and when we came out of it, just no shit. nothing, no radio, no lights. Seriously. No nothing. We had to switch the handheld and no everything else. Fucking yeah. way. The car shut down. Yeah. The was, lights and sirens. Yeah. That's your partner's. And then our our. Because you guys were on her. You guys were like had her, and but, then. If, if you're familiar with like St. Andrews, Gramercy, right there, there's all yeah. those dips. Yeah. And we've had another pursuit the battery right there. Disconnected. Uh, that's what we're assuming. Yeah. We've Pop had another the, uh, pursuit right actually, there. Actually, I got my tools so uh, while he's doing that. Pop the hood real quick. No, that's all good. You want to take a look at no, it? No, no. We have to be able to shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, gonna I got a socket back. wrench. We could tighten it up real quick. Yeah, <laughs> out here working on the cars. So, yeah, I, was, I literally called 911 and I'm like, hey, I think I got your possible suspect. And she's like, I'm sorry, who and what and where? And I was like, tell Southwest Airship. I'm And I was getting her where it was. And by the time they figured it out, I was like, I already gave my light to Rob and that was it. So. Good you, timing on this. Do you have a number just for like an office or something? I don't know. Sure, 323. And there's the car. So, yeah, that was pretty wild, huh? So we were coming down, uh, our suspect ditched the vehicle over here on Gramercy, and then we made a left on Lighton, which is just before there. And uh, as we turned uh, down the street, I look and I see a female with a black top and blue jeans. And I'm like, man, it's, it's midnight. Like, that, like, she's just out for a walk like that? I don't think so. So she was probably hiding from all the cops. And then when we pulled up, she decided it was safe to walk. And uh, lucky enough, my uh, buddy Rob was working as the uh, RTO in the airship. Uh, he was overhead, I hit him with my light. And then we hit the uh, spotlight on our on our suspect, and uh, we were. I was calling 911, telling them, "Hey, tell Southwest that we're with the uh, suspect." And she, you know, the call taker, she doesn't, she wasn't a uh, RTO, so I don't think she was able to put two and two together. So um, luckily enough, Rob had my light, and once he got that, then the rest is history. We uh, units showed up and got her into custody. So not an everyday occurrence, but uh, rights. Uh, right place, right time, with the right people. That's uh, what it takes. So. It's one of the more fun ones, for sure. One of the more yeah, fun ones. <laughs> no yeah. One's hurt. Yeah, yeah, nobody got hurt. It's yeah. just a stolen car. It's like whatever. But no, it's it's always uh, it's always exciting. You get the adrenaline going for sure when you're. Well, firstly, we're on a pursuit. We thought you know it was going to be a a legit pursuit, and then the the guys we were talking to at the end, they were the ones on the radio who were chasing her, and they uh, they had car troubles, unfortunately. Um, mid pursuit, they hit a bump and the the power cut out. So they uh, they lost the suspect momentarily, and then she took advantage of that, ditched the car at Gramercy in three nine, and then that's when we uh, saw her. But no, that was uh, that was perfect uh, perfect timing. And then yeah, Rob uh, Rob's a huge supporter of the show of Code Two Zero. Hopefully you're watching, brother. Good uh, <laughs> good seeing you just now, as always. And um, yeah, I guess the rest is history. That's uh, that's it. We're going to stay